This video is um, an explanation about the previous video, which was my first experience with uh, this plugin that was released from Epic Games, which is called um, Pose Connect um, Driver. Sorry, I just forget the name. Keep forgetting the name. Anyway, um, this because it says Pose Wrangler, it's not the name. It's just the uh, authoring authoring plugin in Maya. But in Unreal, you have to download another plugin to make it working. So please watch the previous video so you know what it's all about. And basically, you can to simulate a clove with this plugin and it's not only for simulation the possibility for making exciting things with this plugin is endless imagine that you can um rig a character in a like in a metahuman level but it would be a different character like an animal or something so um i just want to explain how to uh achieve delta shapes so you can use it with jingle because in the comment section people told me that they tried it before but they don't know how to achieve the wrinkle only after simulation not the whole thing like the the bending uh feet but only the wrinkle to apply it as a blend shape and also they said they apply it but the problem was blend shapes working together and overlapping and it wouldn't be the same shape when they are overlapping it makes a weird shape and I'm going to explain how to actually actually achieve the right um, delta shape but later I will have a comprehensive tutorial and I will make a, um, I'm going to make a auto simulated cloth that makes a lot of sense, like a skirt. Every time you see a female character with a skirt in a game, it's ridiculous because for pants, it's okay if it's only skin, but for a skirt it's absolutely ridiculous. So I'm going to apply it on a skirt and see how it works. Um, and the beautiful thing is that it works in games and it's very lightweight. Even though you will say the, uh, the geometry is dense, um, you can actually manage the topology and paint the um, paint the wrinkles or forms um, I mean paint the wrinkles I mean sculpt the wrinkles I mean or uh, make blender for different forms with lower geometry if it's a concern and one thing that you need to know is that if you have multiple blend shape on your geometry only the vertices that affecting by the blend shape are counted and affect the performance not the amount of blend shape that you have uh, the number of blend shape that you have <clears throat> so basically it doesn't affect performance as much and it's very game character friendly um so let's do it so let's say i want to achieve this shape for applying to my blend shape one way is that you get the character get the skeleton to the same pose that you simulated this cloth with which is i mean 80 degrees on z axis and put the cloth on the position um right actually let's reset this and skin it to the same skeleton 
uh, gear animation uh, rigging um, skin and to the same skeleton and you want to copy the you want to copy the uh, skin from your actual geometry this is my new geometry this is the actual geometry and select that actual ge um, the character geometry and then the new geometry and from copying skin which is I'm going to bring it from the menu so you can know where to look for it and copy skin weight option and you select UVs by the way you have to have a clean UV I uh, just have a clean UV um, the UV should not overlap and should be in the square and so the geometry character and new, new geometry and apply so it skin to the um, skeleton and now get the skeleton back to the original position and you will have your delta shape this is one way so this is how you make the delta shape and you can use this for um, driven balance shape this is one way another way um this is the original let's say i want to achieve this delta shape okay the other way is that with blend shape and the important thing is that you need to do this way because it considers the overlapping thing for example let's say I want to apply the sitting pose right if you look at the balance shape two other balance shape also applied because they are driven by this these two joints and also the sitting pose is applied too but these two are so applied so what we need to consider is that while these two things are applied we want to apply the the, <coughs> the sitting pose um, it means that these two shapes are so considered not only skin so in that case You need to actually um, imagine when we don't have this, let's actually break the connection for this one. So right now we have this pose. It is, I believe it's 80. And while these two are applied, I want this one to be applied combined with this and I want to achieve this shape while these two are applied to I hope that it's clear what I'm trying to say so what I'm going to do I have the final final shape that I want to achieve it's from simulated from Marvel's designer for example and I get the I get the um, other one that two poses are applied and I want the base one which nothing is applied well, actually base shape one bind pose shape without any ability shape and the skin applied to it. so I have three shapes here one the final pose one the pose with the blend shapes that I want to consider and one the base shape so I'm going to select from right to left one two three and I'm going to apply a blend shape 
and the blend shape I'm going to apply for the first one I'm going to apply one and for the last one I'm going to apply minus one so this is my delta shape that has been considered these two uh, blend shapes too. so it means while these other two blend shapes are applied and I apply this blend shape, I will achieve this shape. Um, so I think this is what a missing part from your workflow and you didn't know how to achieve that. Now you can use this as a um, driven blend shape for your uh, for your rig. Later I will have a comprehensive tutorial and make a, make something probably a skirt and I will show you how to set it up. And I was thinking about this thing last night and I thought, what if I fit it with endless poses, like 100 poses, 200 poses, and I give them each a unique blend shape. But the tricky part was, I don't want, for example, if I'm in this pose and I'm, I'm bending the knee, I don't want these wrinkles to go away because it they, it may happen so I need to find a way to apply new wrinkle while keeping the other wrinkle I don't want to change the wrinkle because it doesn't have a doesn't happen in cloth when it's simulated these wrinkles stay still but new wrinkle appear so I'm going to try uh, to refine this technique and I'm thinking about like a huge amount of blend shape so we'll have a like accurate simulation thank you very much for uh, watching and I hope this video is helpful to you please let me know if you are successful in your workflow by knowing this technique and I am very interested to know that. Thank you very much.